look compared to you now. Don't you agree I've gotten darker? Well, yes, but I'm a very bad I know. baseline. And, and I was, my hand was on Jacob's leg before. Okay, no more interrupting. Okay, I'm done now. Okay. My hand was on Jacob's leg right uh -huh. here, you know, where his board shorts cover it. I was like, look, my hand is so tan. He's like, well, you picked the whitest part of my body and then, like, puts his hand out. I said, stop it. So <laughs> that's not the point. The point is not comparison. The point is to show, but, like, look, look though. Look how tan I look. For the record, I disapprove of you tanning because you could get skin cancer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got, love you. I, I, got, I just Well, I wasn't trying to. to. We were just hanging out on the beach and it was all cloudy and I know you can get sunburned when there's clouds, but it was like so cold and it was cloudy. I was like, it's totally fine. We are out there all day. I wasn't red at all. And then when we got to the hotel, I turned into a lobster. I can tell you, being a redhead from experience, it does not matter if the sun is out or not. I'm pretty sure at midnight I, I could get a sunburn. I knew it. I just didn't think it would actually happen. I thought I was tan enough that it wouldn't, and it did. So, well, based next on time the I lack won't do of it. skin on your head, yeah. I'm going to say, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. The, the next time we go to the beach, I promise I will wear sunscreen the entire time. Entire time. I would like to take a moment to thank Alyssa. Because she tried to dish I'm out. Because I'm awesome! She tried to dish out on Floss Tube. And no, I didn't! <laughs> oh! My for goodness. today. I thought it would be better if we filmed on Sunday because we could have had the whole day together. We could have done it in the morning when we were both fresh and happy and not after work. And then we could have worked on Bookshelf for the rest of the day. But she said she doesn't love me enough to see me on the weekend. That's she doesn't want to see said. me. It's not what I said. And she you doesn't still even, come Sunday. She doesn't even You work. could still come Sunday yeah, and we can work on Bookshelf. We're going to because okay. of the... Uh, the number nine controversy oh. conversion. We, yeah. we're, we have to... Migrate yeah. everything onto the new chart. We don't have to, but we're deciding to to make it easier because it's not like we've done that much. Like it shouldn't take that long, right? Right. Right. So for those of you that don't know, today is July second, mm -hmm. Thursday. Mm -hmm. yep. This is stitching at the cabin. I'm Julie. Hi. Hi, and I'm Melissa. Yep. Okay. So for those of you that don't know, um, heaven and earth, the uh, Michelle charted a bunch of stuff with the new. DMC colors and including DMC number 09. 09 and it turns out it wasn't what she should have used for charting. I, I don't really know the details. I don't really care. I'm not upset about it. Um, but you do have a good example I do of have a good example wrong. of you, what the you, problem is. Do you is. have it up here? It's in there. You should you grab it. it. Okay, yeah. you explain this, what the issue for the situation. Okay, is. so somehow the charting stuff got messed up and the 9 that she had in the system does not equal the 9 that actually exists. So any chart that has the nine, it doesn't, like, you know Hades are pretty good with their colors and the way the whole picture looks like when it's done. And the portions with nine look a little off in some charts. And she is working on Ugly Birds that has a lot of nine. And we always thought it looked kind of weird and substandard to most of the other Hades oh, stuff. Substandard is a little harsh. Well, no, it's, it's, just, it's not as standardly awesome yeah. as the colors and everything else. It's kind of weird because it was the nine problem. So she has a good example. So everything over here, like all that kind of weird, sort of shadowy kind of looking. I think it looks like the negative of a picture. Yeah, exactly. That, the negative that's space. nine. So that shouldn't be that color. Yeah. It should be 3371 or 3031 30, yeah. is what she's saying. So like, I'm not upset. That's going to be a butt ton of work to fix. I'm not going to take it out. I'm just going to stitch over the top leg. Mm -hmm. once she reached So she's going through and she's making lists of all of them that need to be fixed and then what sells the most and then who bought it. Mm -hmm. She's recharging it and then she's sending you a new recharted copy. So today we received Once the Upon a Fairy Tale. Once Upon a Fairy Tale because clearly a lot of people bought that. And we haven't gotten to the nines yet. So mm -hmm. we haven't stitched anything that would be incorrect. Well, it's possible we did along the very top row, but maybe one we stitch. don't think we did. And we if we did, so. it's probably not a big deal. So... We have the chart that's correct now. What we're going to do is upload that onto our tablets and then transfer over everything that we did manually. So that way we're working but with the right chart. When she, when she sends the recharted ones, she sends you the large one and the regular. And so we decided to go with large the large Large as in one. like the large font. Large like the, print, I think they call it. Yeah, so that way if you're working from the paper yeah. copy, it's easier. So that, instead of being like 114 pages, is 184 pages. So my thinking was we have more page finishes that way 
Plus, I was thinking it would asterisk next to that. <laughs> Plus, I was thinking it wouldn't maybe accidentally overlay what was already there. I had a better you chance of not blowing finishes. things up. But yeah, mostly I just want the page, page finishes. finishes. So, so she needs to come over so that we can yeah. go through everything we've already done and put it on the new one mm -hmm. and then and work on more we'll of it because so, you know y'all want to see us know. both work on the same project right because you didn't know working on it same time same project different sides so so that's the plan it. i'm not saying that she's not gonna you know wuss out and give or up you're and not gonna come off. home oh i'm gonna come home you're gonna be like you know i just don't really like you that I'm much home. we're going to the cabin tonight and i should be home friday night or saturday morning so i will be here Whatever. sunday because they, they we usually stay home the July weekend because from the backyard you have a view of the city and so we see a bunch of fireworks shows not only the one that's kind of close to us but you can see like in all the illegal other ones. counties and other cities and stuff because we have a pretty <laughs> decent view because California has a lot of flat I mean we have mountains but we also have a lot of flat it's flat so, and then mountain yeah. and then flat so so we can see a lot from where we live but yeah it doesn't sound like most cities or counties are doing it this year so there's just gonna be a lot of illegal fireworks yeah so we which i'm not condoning that no. smile looked i don't eat <laughs> i dislike people people fire like off fireworks and somebody in our neighborhood we see them right out our back window there's one window you see it through every single night they they fire off like those um those little pew pew <laughs> pew the pew pews no the like the pew pew the, what do they call them like italian bottle rockets or whatever it's the Pew, 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 and then they go pow, 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 pow. It's like a series of them. I don't. I Every don't, night. I don't like shooting off fire. I don't like lighting anything on fire. I'm not a pilot. Yeah, you're yet. just. I don't of... really particularly like fire unless it's in a fire place completely safe. So. I don't want Jacob to have to go to forest fires, so that's like my motivation. Well, he doesn't work for Cal Fire, so you're good. We're just gonna like move past this <laughs> conversation. This subject. Okay, so, so anyway, what is that's the, the What is the um? It's been like eighteen minutes. What is the uh, <laughs> schedule for today? Whips. Okay. Haul. What'd you get? You'll see. Okay. <laughs> Spin. Yes, which I'm not doing because I'm doing Jolly July. Then we were gonna discuss the 09 DMC hate issue. Done. Let's just cross Foster. that one off. And then other, we will discuss wedding. Mm-hmm. Lots of updates since now I'm feeling more energetic to talk about it today. Back issues. <laughs> Old ladies problems over here. And Not pointing the fingers. night room. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So if you need well, any... Well, this is going to be a three hour long episode. Oh, and I we have so the bin. Sorry. The bin was under the hall. Uh, I have the bin. Because like two people said yes, I want to see what's in the bin. Yeah. <laughs> no people Two people do. ruined it for all of you. <laughs> Ugh, I feel like you should do that next episode. No. Nope. But I know. Mm -mm. I know. I can't it's tell a small you to do bin. that. It won't take long. I'm so sorry for this very long episode. <sighs> it's not long. It's one thousand percent long. It's not long. Emma, is it long? It's not long. But it's long. It's gonna be long if we keep asking if it's long. <laughs> well, then I win, don't I? <laughs> Why is the dot over there instead the, of there? Because the dot's always on the left of the screen. No, the dot's usually in the middle. No. Mm, someone move my dot. <laughs> well, we can actually discuss back pain along with the whips. Yeah, it's related. Because it's all cool. It all relates. Um, I'm gonna go first because wow. I can. Wow. Last week I spun a um, hedgehog, which then I groaned and complained about. So I brought it to work so I can work on it um, when it's slow. So I did. I finished all the normal cross stitch, as far as I can tell. The really? pattern is pretty oh, I chaotic. I, I didn't not know that. <laughs> that would mean I knew that, and I didn't know that. Oh. No, I finished all the normal cross stitch, as far as I can tell. And then I started doing back stitching. There's a crap ton and a half of back stitching. A half or a quarter? Half. Okay. Back. Yeah, for sure. It's a back half of stitching. Back <laughs> half of stitching. So. Oh, I, oh, I like the flowers. It's yep. cute. So the beads aren't on there yet. Doing the back stitching first. That's what it says. How good you bought a snag nab it because yes, I see a spot I know, with right? the thing sticking out. Exactly. Up. Nor the spots with the thing sticking out. I'm getting more snag nabbits. So there's my little hedgehog. He's missing the beads. He's missing more than half of his back stitching. But he's that much closer to being done, right? It's gonna be done really soon. Well, right. okay, well, it's, yeah. it's mm. gonna be a really long time for done. If you wanted to, you mm -hmm. could finish that in. Oh yeah, I a could do that day. Yeah, for sure. 
Yeah. And I still love the way they look and stuff. I it's just, you know, I'm not feeling it as much as the other ones right now. But I'm glad I did it. I'm always glad I do what the wheel says. I'm proud of you. I'm very proud of you. It felt like she a lie. Good. Oh, she did good. I'm, I'm really proud of you. Okay, you go. Because I'm struggling. Okay, so we had a discussion about scroll gods last week. I bought tensioners yesterday, so I'm just waiting for those to arrive. I'm sure it'll be a while after. It was just yesterday. But I um, did get, you can't see it, but there's a stand that's right up above her and it's coming down. So, no, nope, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. There's a stand it and has my a tablet, tablet on it. Is on it. Um, and so that is just above my stitching because there's no way for me to actually get it next to it with how I sit. But with the scroll rods and everything, I'm sitting in a wonky position, which I have now mostly corrected. But I am a sensitive, delicate little flower, and I have noticed, well, it's stinkweed. <laughs> I have noticed, like, previously when I changed computers, the monitor was a slightly different angle and height and all that. I had neck pain for two weeks until I adjusted to it. Headaches, neck pain, it was miserable. So I think that's what's happening to me right now with the, between the scroll rods and, and new tablet situation. Yeah, and... with all that. So I have had back pain for four or five days mm -hmm. now. Today has been the best day, but today I woke up with a migraine and I've got a neck thing today. <laughs> it's miserable. But I'm here because I love you people. Good. It's Sunday. <laughs> so I think it's because of keto. And I'm not complaining. Well, I'm a big whiny crybaby. But, but I think... <laughs> but, but. I got a big but. <laughs> I think that if I continue to use it, I will improve. I just need to build up those muscles. Apparently I'm a lot weaker than y'all can me credit for. And I need to build up those muscles and We're get used to it. We're all weaker than we think we are. <laughs> so I, I think that's what it is. If it wasn't that, it was working on the night room. And that is possible as well because both things happened at the same time. And I don't know what the actual culprit is. Maybe the combination. Could be. I'm just yeah. hoping that it continues to get better. And I'm really, really, really looking forward to the cabin with the reclining chair. Because I think that's going to take off some of this weird miserableness pressure muscle problem so i have not done a lot of stitching in the evenings mm -hmm. in fact i've hardly done any at all more explanation on that when we get to it <laughs> but keto i smacked her in the head yeah she has did. been smacked oh i thought that was the back I'm like that's that's so no wrong she has been smacked does her head her we have head finally head, head smacked Yay. We have got some keto. It's still not tight. <laughs> Think the side tensions will help some, but I also feel like it's loosening a little bit as I go. I am sure it is completely my fault. But there's keto. Look at all and those now pug it threads. Looks, yeah, with all the pug threads, now it looks way more like ugly birds and all those pug threads. But, you know, I'm doing like background and the side of the head all at once. So once... I get down that and then just get into her oh, head. I love her head. I think it will be. Oh, I'm so proud of you. This is getting exciting. I know, isn't it? Right? Okay. It only this took eight like, years to get really exciting. It was one year. <laughs> and this is the end of the page. Like, there. I just continued a little bit because I have pedal keeper and I can. Nice. So, yeah, that's pretty exciting stuff. That's very exciting. It's really, 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 really exciting. Good. Although it's going a lot slower now that I have 10 million colors. Because yeah. I was doing like 200 stitches in a morning before work for several days in a row. And like this morning, I was lucky to get like 125. It happens. Yeah. My universe is slower too. <laughs> um, I'm going to pause real quick because I think the color looks different than it normally does. So uh -oh. Hold up, technical problem. Everything's as long, fine. as long as I'm in the frame, that's all that matters. That's right? true. <laughs> it's very true. I think it does go more towards you. It's just that I can't see myself because of the camera blockade thing. So, you like that little tiny bit I moved it? Yeah. It's awesome. revolutionary. Okay. Oh, uh, it's my turn. Yeah. I'm done with Yeah, I'm done with keto. I thought I was going to say something else, but I don't know what it was. I don't know. I don't know either. I love Kita. So, at home, I decided I really wanted to work on Universe in a Jar. I've seen a lot of people posting on the Hate Facebook page recently of them working on Randall Spangler stuff, yeah, and I it really too. inspires me to keep going. 
Um, again, it doesn't look like I did much. I'm in a very confetti heavy spot. Um, and I didn't work on it that long. But look at that. <gasps> oh, look how pretty those pinky purple yeah. ones are. We're working on that little swirly wow. swirl on top of that little globey thing. <laughs> like those technical terms. Swirly swirl on the globey thing. Yep. So there you go. It's a foof. It is a foof. It's a really It's like a hard foof. foof. Foofs are soft. I don't think True. this is soft. I think this is hard. That, that if looks... you hit it, it would hurt. Pokey foof. Yeah, pokey foof. poof. There's a, there's a bunch of whites in here that you can't tell, but like all of that's stitched. So it's is it's it, even more I can about you can see. I can, I can there's see white in is. there that's like, you know. You took a picture of Keto, right? Yes, I did. Okay. But thank you, because I never take a picture when I'm showing my stuff. I always forget to take a picture. So. Did I mention I have pants on today? I don't. I do. I actually had to leave the house today. I had to go to... <laughs> well, it was supposed to be two banks. ended up being three because one was closed. Partially. Their indoor ATMs were open. Yeah, so I stood in the line outside. So I found out the line outside was for the ATM. <laughs> I look like an idiot. So like, you're in my mask and I'm mumbling. It's awkward. People actually turned around from the ATM to look at me and I was like, oh, it's closed. I didn't know. <laughs> and I walked out. I'm sure that was bright red. <laughs> awkward. Uh, but you know what's this back pain thing this week? And I've been watching, I watch 600 Pound Life in the mm -hmm. morning while I'm stitching. Mm -hmm. I have a lot more sympathy for those people. Because you're know, always like, oh, my back, my legs, I'm in so much pain. And I'm like, ah, hey, you're fine. You got this. Just work through it. Way. You can do it. And now I'm like, doing the stitching all, oh, my back. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Mm. <laughs> I'll bet if you weighed 600 pounds, that, that would suck. really be painful. Yeah. And you think about how strong they are, like, leg-wise. Could mm -hmm. you pick up 600 pounds with mm -hmm. your legs? I could. Oh, the legs weigh a significant amount, so like technically they're only picking well, up like 400 pounds. Well, that one guy only had one leg. That's true. No. I don't recommend Googling where are they now unless you want to find out that seven of them have died. She just keeps like, she kept reading it to me. I was like, stop. This isn't happy. None of this is happy. None of them. They're not happy. And most people don't end up happily anyways. I think most of them end up gaining weight back. So like just... Well, it says, oh, there's only a 5% chance. In the beginning of every show, it says, I'm, I'm looking up at the TV, like, like it's going <laughs> to instantly pop up and tell me. But it's only a 5% chance. But, but I have a lot more respect for people that deal with chronic pain. There My four days yeah. of pain, I was like, I don't like this. Yeah. I don't like this. So for all of you suffering, my heart goes out to you. I'm very sorry. But you got this. Okay, public service <laughs> announcement over. Okay, I did not work on my shower line today. I did work on my shower line, but not today. And it was sort of a busy week, so it didn't get a whole, whole lot done. I'm hoping next week's going to be a slower week. You would think so. Because this was month-end week. Month-end week yeah. is always busy week. So next week should yeah. be, hopefully, knock on wood. Although I still have to finish month-end. <laughs> not <laughs> totally done. <laughs> But anyway, I've been working in this square, and I got the the blue that goes all the way around, the lighter blue, mm -hmm. and then I did, I actually did specialty stitches mm. in the middle of, in the midst of the other ones, so you can see the specialty stitches in every corner. <laughs> I got one curly and I almost hit myself <laughs> in the head. And then all this green up here. This actually takes a really long time, not because it's difficult, but because there's a lot of like counting involved mm -hmm. and with the shadow lane you know i don't have pattern keeper yeah and so, so I, it is pdf but i i can't highlight anything with the pdf i don't know why but i can't and so it's zoom in and count yeah zoom count zoom count zoom count that's so hard. yeah but good but yeah i'm making slow steady progress on that bad boy the end is near I, that's that what one. i was thinking you know if if i would like pick up the pace a tiny bit i could probably finish it this year i think so but you know because it's just that box mm -hmm. then the arch mm -hmm. and then the box and then those outside and then all the beating and yeah and then all the beating <laughs> okay so next year <laughs> we'll change it but to next still, year. the end is still near the end is new than it was last year yes exactly we'll go ahead and do optimistic. more and then once we get to trees we'll do that together okay um excuse me i'm gonna get really close yeah i like that no so when i spun the little wheelie wheel it said new start mm -hmm. and i 
adopted Mason Joe's as oh, a new stud. Oh yeah! So I did work on that. Weekend was really busy because we were working on the night room. Alyssa will insert pictures later. But not now. I'll look at your screen now. Okay. Later. <laughs> Just hope I don't forget. Last time I forgot. So that's the dimensions. Mason Joe's. Ooh, and my husband made me something for this one. But, oh, yeah. first. I didn't know it was for that. Yeah. Here's my little Mason Joe's. This is really stiff fabric. I and tell. let me, let me point something out here. There's shadows on that, and I don't know, in my head I thought they were stitched. They're not. They're on oh, the fabric. Oh, they are. <laughs> had I realized this, I would have been 10,000 times more careful to make sure I started in the center. <laughs> I did work my way down to make sure that it wasn't going to be horrific, and I think I've, I think I'm pretty well lined up. I think. But they should Awkward. put in giant that's bold really funny. writing someplace. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, you need to be in the center, <laughs> dumbhead. Because I'm, oh, I so mean, weird. I was in the center, but I was like, eh, it doesn't matter if it's up one, over one, down one, as long as it's within one or two, it'll be fine. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. There is more over there, so it will go out, and this does go down a tiny bit more. But I, I think it'll be okay. I think I'll be okay. okay. But it looks cool. My husband has a three D printer, and then he bought another one because I don't know why. That's not a question for but us. For some reason, he had to have another one. It's not my place to question. If he doesn't question me about my my purchases, I don't question him. Um, and so he was doing something with the old one. I don't know why. And he said, is there something you want me to make? I need to do something for a reason. I truly don't remember. And uh, I said, no, I don't think so. He's like, what about stitchy stuff? And I said, I don't think those patterns for stitchy stuff for 3D printed thing. And then a few minutes later, he, he was at work. I was at work. He messages me. He's like, look, there is. And there was a link. So I went through stuff and I was like, well, I like the kitty cat. So he's like, okay, I'll make you the kitty cat. And then he told me I needed to sand it and paint it. And I was like, ah! <laughs> no, I don't. Painter's tape to the rescue. Because I had to mark all the numbers. So this has 30 holes and I needed 31. But that's okay. I made it work. And the kitty does have a face under here. But I didn't. I needed to tape. So, yeah. So I just hung my things. So if you because happen to have a 3D printer, you can print your own yes, thread drops. Yes, kitty cat. Um, the... Floss comes like this on these things, right? And so I thought, oh, I'll just pull one little yoink. N no. You have to pull no. the whole yoink off? You don't pull, pull at all. Oh, you cut. You have to cut it off. Oh. Yeah. Well, and you that can't answers your question on how this works. One. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, unless I'm mistaken, but the instruction said cut. <laughs> so I cut. So that's when this becomes necessary. I can just imagine all the gasps of, <gasps> like, you don't cut them. <gasps> yes. If you're gasping in horror because you don't cut it, please tell me how to get those off without cutting because I couldn't find any other way. I did experiment. I could not succeed. I was not successful. And notice, I took the needle minder off of the extra one off the bookshelf last week when I said, oh, when I need one, remind me. Y'all reminded me. I mean, you yeah, had nothing to do with it, but I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you credit. That's so sweet. Yeah. I have one more, but we also have temperature, so. We do the one it. more. Okay. We'll end with temperature. So, here's what I need to explain myself. We gotta explain. Explaining. Oh yeah, you do have to explain. I had a, I mentioned that thing up there that Alyssa showed tablet. you. The tablet holder thingy. Well, my son was nice enough to build it for me, and he also found a cord to, that I could use to charge and wrapped it around the thing. So it's always charged. It charges full time now, <laughs> nonstop. Mm -hmm. So, and I had to take that out of the case to get it to fit in the clampy thing. So, I spun Hyacinth, but Hyacinth requires the tablet, and for an evening, mm -hmm. To detach that, put it back in the case, go downstairs, use it, bring it back up, take it out of the case, reattach that, and do that night after night after night, especially when I was in pain, I was like, it it I'm not going to do it. Want yeah. to stitch. I, I found myself like, are there dishes I can do? Maybe I could lick the toilet. What else can I do? Desperate. Maybe exercise. 
And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Something whoa, is wrong. Whoa. <laughs> what is going on? You need to, like, not do any of that. So I thought, hmm, I will spin the wheel until I get something that is not on the tablet. So now I have the dilemma of, do I get, like, a Kindle Fire? Because they're only, like, $50 for the 7-inch older ones. And then go through all that to get Pattern Keeper on that for travel? Mm -hmm. Or do I put on my big little panties and move the thing and just not do the uh, tablet stuff in the evenings? Because I don't mind doing it on the weekend. If it's just, you know, if it's two or three days, I don't mind taking it off. But to do it like every night, I have not figured out what I'm gonna do. Get a new tablet. But I feel weird having things on, but like that's such a nice tablet. My husband bought me that for Christmas. Like it's such a nice yeah, tablet. I it hate does to work really just nice. have it attached for that. Seems kind of but that's going to be for your most important stuff. I also had the thought maybe if I got the Kindle Fire and attached that up there, then that goes back to being my travel one. No. And it already has the case and no. it's... Because you're stitching so much on keto, you want that to be on your nice tablet. I don't know. I know. Does anyone You'll have any thoughts? That. I don't do know. That. So I feel like, like, this is such a terrible problem to be complaining about, you know, like... First world problems. Exactly. <laughs> do I get the Starbucks <laughs> Frappuccino or <laughs> the Cappuccino? I had the best mocha when we were in San Diego. We went on a, like a little mini vacation to San Diego just to mm. relax, unwind. Yeah, we went to a hotel and I went out to the beach. I went to restaurants because I went to school in San Diego for two and a half years and I never explored, never went to the food, never did anything. I love San Diego. I love San Diego too. So we went and explored food, but we went to this British breakfast place, which was where we had the um, Eggs Benedict that I sent you a picture of. Did you order in British? <laughs> no. In British English? <laughs> no. No one had a British accent. That would have been inappropriate. You know. They did sell scones. Mm, yeah. But I like scones. I, I didn't have scones. Okay. Um, but anyways, I had a, uh, 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 it was a Eggs chocolate Benedict. mocha thing, oh. but it, they called it something something mocha, but oh chocolate? my god, it was so good. No, because chocolate is mocha. It was like something special. It was so good. Ja? So good. Ja mocha? Ja mocha's a really good flavor of ice cream at Pascal Robbins. I had that in a banana royale. Ja mocha. I was trying to say it. I had really good coffee ja and I've wanted it since then. Ja mocha. Just go on with your stitching. You're making me happy. Just, just tell ja mocha. them. Please just tell them your stitch. Show them the things. So that's my problem. But but since we're talking about Starbucks, when I was going to the bank today, <laughs> I ended up having a little more cash than I normally have to deposit because of work. <laughs> and I didn't feel comfortable going to the bank alone, so I conned my son into going. But on the way there, he admitted that should someone approach us, he would run away <laughs> instead of helping me. And I said, well, would you at least call 911? He's like, no, I don't know where I am. I was like, well, you could ask somebody. He's like, maybe. <laughs> but uh, the price I had to pay to take him for protection. <laughs> protection. <laughs> protection. <laughs> so he wanted to go to Starbucks. He ended up using my gift card, too. <laughs> I ended up paying for it with my gift card. Anyway. He wanted to go to that particular one because it has a drive through and he didn't want to get out. Well, I don't like going through drive throughs I have a big truck, little drive through Big truck, little drive through And I'm plus, fine. you're scared but, of Starbucks, too. Yeah, I, uh, Starbucks intimidates me. I am not high class enough for Starbucks. <laughs> so, we're at the drive through and I'm like, you know what, I want, what you want? And he's like, yeah. And I said, well, do, do, am I going to know how to say it? He's like, no. He's like, I'll tell you word for word. I'm like, well, that's going to sound great. <laughs> She's gonna be like, how can I help you? And be like, I'd like a Fenty, Fenty, <laughs> Mocha, Mocha, Ja Mocha, Ja Mocha. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? So he typed it out on his phone in like a note oh, while we were in line. So when she's like, hey, how are you today? I was like, good, how are you? She's like, I'm good, thanks for asking. What can I get started for you? I was like, oh, wow. And I go, I'm all peppy and my voice is up. And I'm like, I would like a venti caramel macchiato. I am sure that they have a video 
camera. They do. And here I am with my phone, like, the, the only thing's here. And I've got my phone angled here. And I'm like, I would like a venti caramel macchiato with a hot, extra shot hot, hot with, with an, an extra, extra shot, shot of espresso. espresso. Thank you. And she's like, wonderful. Is that all for you? I'm like, yes. She's like, okay, this is your total at the first window. I'm like, awesome. Thank you. I'll see you there. Best you know? Starbucks experience ever. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. You kind of, you know, it's okay. Um, but like when he showed it to me, I was like, hot? I'm like, do I have to say hot? He's like, yes. Otherwise, like, really? That's a yeah. He's like, yeah, there's a cold option. That one's standard cold, pretty much. So. I did not know. So all that to say, I don't know whether to get a Kindle Fire or not. And this is me saying this episode is two hours long <laughs> and I am sorry. I can't find the actual project. <laughs> no, I can find oh. the project. I don't. Somewhere in here is what it looks like. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Who ate my ice cream? I bet it was Jamoka. <laughs> Just gonna say <laughs> that! Jamoka. Don't steal my jokes! I'm the funny one. Keep in mind, this is when my back was ripped. By the end of the day, I couldn't even like sit on the sofa. <laughs> the most comfortable position is child's pose, you know, in yoga, when yeah. you're like in a ball with your head on oh, the floor. Yeah. So I'm sitting on the sofa in a ball with my head down and my husband's like, are you okay? I'm like, no. He's like, I feel really bad for you. I'm like, yeah, thanks. I, I do appreciate help. that, but if he really loved you, he would have offered to keep stitching. That's not true. Up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. The Here eyeballs are on top. I thought those were eyeballs. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, one night I did like five stitches. Last night I did like this color. I've done that before where I'm like, you know, I feel really crappy, but I think I can do it. And then yeah. you start doing it I and you get you through can't. like <laughs> part of one color and you're like, I just, I'm done. No, thank you. Make it. Oh yeah, I guess you have to take a picture. I put one through your head. <laughs> one. Because I don't trust my county. No, I understand that. So. I still really like it. Good. I really like it. I like it too. I like it more stitched so far. Yeah, it's it's so colorful. Mm -hmm. This is the fabric, I, you know, the cloud one, and then I bought the metal one that I'm sending back once they sent me the right one. But I think I'm good with the clouds. I think so too. I, I like I'm it. A, I'm I with the clouds. I like it. I I typically prefer fabrics that don't have like the ground sky thing. The ground sky. Ground <laughs> As sky. To the sky sky. <laughs> well, I mean, like you know, where there's like a full scene where it's ground and then sky. I like it when it's more abstract. I think. Well, I mean, as long as you like that, then I'll make sure to try to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Are okay. you punching me in the back of my a head? A little bit. Yeah. Looking? Trees. Trees. Okay. I updated mine yesterday, so I need mm. to do yesterday's and today's because I too. can't do the same day. I just didn't do yesterday's because it's a new month and I don't know. I wrote it down, yeah. but I didn't do it. All of June is, yeah, all of yeah, June is done because today's the second. And I did not start July. I did not. Nope. I didn't start July. <laughs> the July is going to be hard because some of those leaves are on I think it's, it's only on pages. one leaf that's on two pages, but it might be Like, the first is for sure on the page that we're on right now, but then, like, uh, you have to kind of see the, the other page to see where that lines up. The third so is on two pages, for sure. Yeah. See, it's so. just awkward. I just didn't want to deal with it yeah. today. So, anyways. Ready? Yeah. Flump. Flump. Don't wow, flump. look at all my branches. <laughs> mm, no, I got more branches than you. That means but we're, we're officially close. halfway done. This is officially Woo! halfway done. I mean, without the rest of the branches and stuff. But like the leaves, <laughs> you know, the leaves. Yeah. To be clear, <laughs> we are not halfway done. No, but, but the years, the years, it's all halfway done. It's been hot. See, hot. Mine's hot. Somebody mentioned that I should do something special on the leaves or on the leaf for my wedding. That somebody was Joanne Desert Stitcher, the same one that gave me keto up there. Right. To be clear. To be clear. She's a genius with this. This yes. is an excellent idea. And so she told me that because I didn't see that comment. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I do read them, okay? I just didn't see that one. YouTube is having some sort of issue where they're not emailing me at all when y'all comment. Don't stop commenting. Just understand that if there's a delay in my answering you, it's That's because right. I, I don't see it. I have to literally go in and check. So she told me about this idea, and I thought that was a great idea. Gold leaf. Gold leaf on the day I get married. Assuming it's this year. Yeah, which it's like, looking less and less like it'll be this you know, year. But if it's this year, it'll be September 27th. And then I said I should also outline the um, June 13th, because that's when we got engaged. And so I outlined that in gold and then have the day we get married in gold. I think that would look really cool. I think it's now, amazing. Now, it would look less cool if I don't get married this year. 
then it's just gonna be kind of odd and I feel like I have to do a tree for next year so that way I can hang them side by side so you can see when we got engaged and when we got married but let's just whatever. get married this year not, not us I don't I don't want to marry you that's creepy there's a whole problem because of honeymoons and trying to book them like right now they're super cheap but like do you want to book it and then risk having your wedding pushed and then you have a honeymoon vacation that you either go on and feel like imposters or well, you invited me on your honeymoon, so... That's complicated. <laughs> I did. That's not a lie. <laughs> I just, thought it'd be too just, creepy, but... <laughs> we're just trying to figure out what to do. What to do. They it's just really, wanted us to pay for the half, I think. Of a really nice well, Technically, it would have been like a the thug, Caribbean. but... It's a great deal right now. That's all I'm saying. Go ahead, continue At your the bank stuff. today, the woman that was helping me with the wire transfer, mm -hmm. she's Preggy's. Mm. And uh, she's due September 28th. Mm. So I told her I would think about her on the 28th, and she said she would think about us on the 27th. That's very kind. She won't think about But us, she did think Steve was my only child. So <laughs> I was like, no, my dad is still alive. <laughs> Get married. Uh, oh, funny. wait, before we do that. Okay, so um, I had said tacky bobs don't exist anymore. <laughs> I they see don't. That they do. <laughs> but my mom was kind enough, thank you, mummy, oh. to send me a list of every place she could find on the internet that had them, which was like seven or eight. And by the time I actually got around to going to order one, several of those no longer existed either. Wow. So I was That's able sad. to find one. Good. I could buy one. And it came yesterday. And actually, I think it's my favorite pattern of all of them. Because it's actually like sparkly, too. like. Like, okay, can you not? But it's holographic. You have to like... Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. It's like trippy. It's like... It looks like one of those things where you're supposed to like unfocus your eyes and then there's a hidden image. Yes. Kind of like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So I know a bunch of you told me about different options, things you use, and I will go with that the next time because this is the last one in existence. But I do appreciate all the suggestions. I just acknowledge you. But thank you. <laughs> I just have the option to get another tacky bot. Um, I have this bin. It's not going to take you that long. You should lift it up and show them what your bin looks like. This is a crazy old bin. From a weird closet? Mm-hmm. Bin. Nice. I'm going to move the camera more bin. towards you while you do this. Because I still think I'm too far in it. Oh, yeah, that's better. I look like a turtle. 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 <laughs> By the way, you zoomed in on that when I fixed my bracelet. <laughs> I was like, what's she doing? Okay, really old I just thought that was cute. I'm like, why are you adjusting your bracelet? <laughs> and I was trying to see if I adjusted it right using the camera. This is uh, JMP Coats, if that gives you an idea how old that floss is. That is some old floss. It smells like old floss. <laughs> and then I found a bunch of DMC, mostly 840. <laughs> really Good old. To know. You can tell by Z tag how, oh, how, oh. Yeah, you gotta do that. That's still pro well. You can tell by at least the colors, even if you can't see the number. Old floss, and one ball of number eight three ten. So it's a little thick for you know what we do, but holding it. I use it for <laughs> snowflakes when it's white. Maybe we can have black snowflakes. Sure, like Halloween snowflakes. There you go. How hollow flakes? Hollow flakes. Hello. And then some really crazy. Okay, I don't. I assume nobody remembers this place. So fro fabrics. Yeah, but it used to be House of Fabrics, so apparently I don't remember it either. It's so really fro. old. Um, there's a lot of really stiff Ada. Yes. Really stiff yes. Ada. And a receipt that is so old, you can't even... I can't read any of that. Mm -mm. I can just see that it's there's gone. dents in it. It's dented. And you know you, or whoever, uh, it wasn't me, <laughs> probably bought it for a project. Probably. I'm sure it was probably my mom. Um, but I think most of these charts came from Lee, the guy that lived upstairs. Yeah. With my mom? Put, with that, with, not with my mom, but he rented the upstairs from my mom. He was very crafty. Birds of color. <laughs> like the cockroaches off <laughs> It wasn't chocolate, it was, chocolate. Chocolate. It was fuzz. Wipe the fuzz off. <laughs> I personally like the flamingos in that, but there's some pellets and stuff. This seems like you're perfect. Oh yeah, there are wild oh, flowers. flowers. I like the storky thing. The yeah, not storks, they're the pelicans. Oh, me too. I like pelicans. Pelicans? I call Ami a pelican. Yeah. There's more flowers pelican. on the back. 
You should be looking up right now if you like stitching. I think that one's my favorite on this one. That one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the <heat trip>. <laughs> <laughs> Something totally <laughs> violent and terrifying. I agree, I like that one. I like the yellow one too. Woodland wildlife is the yellow one. Oh yeah, yeah. Same thing, just a different color. Woodland basically. wildlife. I like <gasps> that one. I like the raccoon. These are all to the back. Look, it's a baby like, trash, trash panda. A baby trash panda. My goodness. The fat that was from cool Lee too. Woods. Wow, I forgot about that place. Five dollars. Okay, people. Oh, there's a turtle. You know what I was whining about? You guys know it. It's a chipmunk. You could do it. You can do it. A chipmunk. You should do that. You can make a pillow. You should do that. Um. So I was whining about the PDFs that were actually dot pads. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Turns out. Wow. I already own that pattern. That the, what are the what are what are the chances of yeah. that? And it's the hand. Let me show you this really quickly. It's the hand drawn one. Wow. How cool. Yeah. If I had known I owned that, I wouldn't have. But wow. the dot pad, but then I wouldn't have gotten the army that the dad likes. So he's showing the pattern on the back just so you know. I didn't realize there was one. It's okay. No one can see. It, you aren't going to make much out of that anyway. Besides, it's Teresa one, so everything's a blend. So good luck. Good luck. That's really cool. This is... This, huh. What I about somebody yeah, coming? We're going to need people doing stuff, maybe. Um, there's a lot of Teresa one, so it's all in a row here. English Cottage Sampler. I feel like I've heard of that one too. Yeah, I don't know that I'll ever stitch it, but Oh, did I Gray like... stitch some of these? Aren't those um, in the bedroom? Yeah, Lee stitched them. Oh, okay. I, I remember these little carousels from Yeah, Granny's those are house. in here. <laughs> I have them. They're, they're down here. Like you actually have some? Like stitched? Oh, no, 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 like the patterns for them. Um, Fantasy Sampler. I do like that a lot. Oh, wait, what's, what's going on? Out of here? all the alphabets, I kind of like this alphabet what's a lot. What's going on here? From the English Cottage. Oh. This one's hand done to. Ooh, look, that's got like a stain down the middle. But this is hand. It's hand done to. Anyway, there's that one. Hand drawn. What, is, what do you call hey, it? The castle. <laughs> yeah, that kid is the castle. <laughs> the one I am going to get through one day. I like this. Yeah. Father Winter. This dragon looks like the dragon in Never Ending Story. Yeah, Falcon. Yeah, Falcon. That's a good movie. I should see it again. I don't think Jacob's ever seen it. I think that's on the list of movies he's never seen. I watched it either earlier this year or last year. Hmm. Where? This castle again. Uh, Do you know? I don't know. It was Netflix, something? Hulu. Okay. It was something. something probably. Companions. This is also Teresa Winslow. Oh, this has beads in Look, it. Look, there's a castle on the back of it. Does your does your um, does your castle have beads? No. Okay, I didn't think so. I don't know that Teresa Winslow's stuff beads. mostly ever does. Are you yeah. sure? Yeah, look around here. I think that's just stitching. And look at those. I think those, those are, are French no. knots. No, they're not. They're definitely look beads. Look at the <laughs> We can solve this problem by looking at the... Ah, no, down. Oh, no, upside down. Oh my gosh, it is upside down. <laughs> are there beads? I don't know. Yep, right there, no hole beads. See? But I don't think there's beads in this one. That's why I, was, no, I, that's why I thought it was interesting because I nope. didn't see no beads, beads in any of these other ones. This one has beads. Hand. Cold. <laughs> hand. Okay, I think I was showing you that. I, I actually really finished. like all the little yeah, things like in there. The little things there's too. like a little tree and like birds and stuff. I like those and all those little squares. I like this one a lot. Well, you're behind. Now you're on that one. Okay. Then I have the killer tall horses. Here's winter. They're so pretty. Oh, this is hand drawn too. I'm gonna guess these are all old enough to be hand drawn. I'll stop saying that. <laughs> Just cross stitch. This came from Just Cross Stitch in Alabama. I've heard of that. These are um, actually pretty cool. I mean they're old school and I don't really like the I stitching like the older school stuff, but I like them. They're pretty cool. Summer? For being old. Uh, Y'all trying to look, and I'm just trying to cover the faces, and they're making you dizzy. <laughs> Fall. Wow. Fall. Oh, 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 oh. And spring. 
gonna put these in order. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Yeah. Okay. And they're and they like item numbers. Oh. <laughs> but yeah. All right, lavender and lace. This is Angel of Hope. She is an angel and she is hopeful. If she's hopeful, I'm going to stitch this. She may be <laughs> disappointed. I don't know that I will. That is a lot of white ish. You actually have a lot white. of consecutive numbers, items, like books, Ooh. like consecutive. And then we have less white. Still a lot of white, but less white. Uh, the Angel of Grace. I'm like, I cannot see the name. Angel of oh, Grace. That's beautiful. I really like lavender and laces. Are you going to stitch them? No, but I think they're really pretty. And Earth Angel. They scare me a little too much. Are we going to sing that? My house. Earth Angel. Earth Angel. Earth Angel. Do you not know that song? She doesn't know Earth Angel. That song doesn't exist. I know most wow. important songs. That's, that's not be an important song. We just got shut down. <laughs> Cancelled. <laughs> Victor, did you even look at that one? I handed yes, it to you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I didn't it's hand an it. Earth I angel. Threw it. Yeah. <laughs> Victorian elegance. This is also Teresa Wensler. Excuse me. You were supposed to organize these ahead. Well, time. I'm sorry. I did not realize that was Teresa Wensler. That should be the last of her. Nature's notebook. To soar on eagles' wings is to ride the winds of freedom. That's what the eagle one says. Look at that fat birdie up there. That is a very odd fat birdie up there. <laughs> I am a fan. Top She's right. talking about that one. Yeah. Animal Kingdom. <laughs> the goose. That looks like, this looks a little like Ami. I'm always telling him he's a penguin. Did I say I call Ami a pelican earlier? Pelican. Yeah, yeah, no, that's not Ami, that's Momo. Ami is the penguin. Penguin arms. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, wow, I did not realize this was Donna Cooler. Kill horses and craft stitch. I'm not going to do like a flip through, but this is a very thick publication. But it's Donna Cooler. Very interesting. Yeah, it's mostly pattern. I don't see a whole lot of like pictures. I'm sure they're in there. I'm just flipping through them too quickly to see. Look, there's like a earth one. I can't say that really well. <laughs> interesting. Cool. Stitch with Sunbury. Donna Vermillion. She's the one that did my wedding sample. I mean, she didn't stitch it, but <laughs> she designed it. Um, yeah, uh, trays is what this is called. Hmm. Hand drawn. Curly nice. shells. Yeah. I don't know what the relationship is between shells and turkeys, <laughs> but like. It's for the ultimate person, like that really loves I turkeys really and think shells. That cornucopia is pretty. Yeah, I think so too. Ew, I'm pretty sure this was my mom's. This is from Stony Creek. Love is the music. Some of us played clarinet, I was one of them. <laughs> That's a clarinet, in case you don't know. And, and back here is a... I really like the accordion. Yeah, it's beautiful, but I don't know many people that play the accordion. I only know one in the Mavericks. Not like I've met him, but you know. Jean Christine Orchid Mask. Needlepoints Limited. Oh yeah, I've been there. They moved though, they're not there anymore. The sticker up there is what I'm referring to. Five easy steps to handling bulger threads. Just in case you were wondering. Ooh la la. True colors. Okay, this, this I didn't know they did colors. These are the people that did my whale tail oh. that didn't have enough floss. Yeah. Boy King. He even has like an author photo on the yeah. back. He did all my kit too. That that's Go the on. guy. That's the joke that doesn't put enough floss in my kits. <laughs> Carl Christensen, president. I'm gonna have a word with him. He's in Georgia. According to this. Um, oh, okay. I was like, um, there is no pattern. There is. Yeah. I don't think I will stitch that, but probably I won't stitch most of this. That's very fair. Paul Pants Cottages by the Sea. If that is not pastel -y, Yeah. Oh, look, he has an author picture, oh, too. Oh, yeah, he's on the back. How odd. 
He's in Florida. He's probably not alive. Washed by someone's light and pastel tones. He's not yeah, that's true. <laughs> And finally, a leaf encounter. Okay. Same guy. Let's go. Oh, he's still on the back too. <laughs> oh, hello, Paul Brent. <laughs> hello, Paul. Oh, hello. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here again. <laughs> How do you do? How do you do? So yeah, that's my bin. Oh goodness. They are now organized. Teresa Winsler is up. Well, lavender lace is on top, and then Teresa Winsler. And they're all organized by number. And then your not three says are at the bottom. Was that fun? Did you enjoy that? Are we at the second area? Are we at two <laughs> you can cut stuff out. Well, I'm not cutting. They're just going to have to fast forward like me. Okay, so the only other stitchy thing we have is to spin, which you said you were not doing. No, but we're going to do it differently because um, Jacob, no, Jacob pointed out that we are complete idiots. Well, I've known that. Yeah. You see, my wheel this, is in my phone, I'm so aware. you have to yeah. use my phone. You see, there's this cool thing called screen recording, so that way we're not sitting here like <laughs> this, but I just poopy. record your screen. So please pause while I figure out how to add it to our control panel, because it was it's it's right here for me. I just swipe down, and see, it's that little recording oh, button. I, I made it so it'd be faster. It's not on hers, so give me a second. Okay, now you're ready, and we don't okay. even have to have weird camera Why situations. Why does it have a number? Oh, is because that, the time? that yeah, yeah, that's the time, and because Ooh. it's red, that's how you know it's this recording. Is longer than an hour, Sean. <laughs> what? Okay, so this is weekend. Um, weekend. Okay. I'm okay with that. Okay, and then during the week, I since I don't have another tablet, this can't be a tablet one. I thought you have a different list for. Oh no, we were looking mm -hmm. at new starts. That's a tablet. Redo. <laughs> and I need that recharged. <laughs> That's a tablet. Redo. <laughs> <sighs> acorns. I can do that. I like acorns. I like acorns too, but that probably isn't going to take all week. <laughs> you do this, then you hit that button again. Not, oh, I don't know why I'm teaching just, you. There's no reason. <laughs> <laughs> now you're immediately going to send it to me so that way we don't forget. I can't yell that. She forget. scolded me. I've been scolded. You know what's cold? Your heart? Jamoka. I like Jamoka. I have absolutely no idea what Jamoka is, except it's delicious. I think it's, it's probably sort of, Java chips in. Oh, uh, like Java and mocha? Yeah. I never thought about Java, because it is a coffee-ish. It's like a chocolatey yeah, coffee. Maybe Java is a coffee. Really and, and good. Mocha chips. Really good in a banana layout with hot fudge and... Whippy cream and are we even done with stuff? Good. Yeah, that's that's, that's it, right? Stuff. So we have a wedding. We already talked so about my back pain, and we got the night room. If you're here for Stitchy, thanks for putting up with all of this to get to Stitchy goodness. If you're interested in wedding planning in a hundred days or less, stick around. Or night rooms in bedrooms. How you about be intrigued? How about if I get the night room out of the way real quick, do and it. then you can do. Five hours of wedding talk. It's just gonna keep being the Julie show. It's fine. <laughs> Go ahead. Welcome to the night room. It's the Julie show. It's, it's the, the Julie, Julie show. show. I thought we were only gonna cut some wood and maybe a little bit of stone. That's what he told me we were gonna do. We got up Saturday morning. We worked the entire day until five o'clock. I got out of the shower a little after five o'clock. We had not eaten a single bite of food the entire morsel. day. And we were all in pain and exhausted, which maybe is why my back hurts. <laughs> we did cut wood and we did cut stone and we did do some assembly. And then Sunday, we did way more assembly. And it's essentially done, except he needs to wire the side lights, the big sconcy things. <laughs> so, someplace, she will insert, I don't believe there's video, but there will be photographs of the before of the night room because it was not attractive. We just had stuff in there because we were going to use it. It was just a weird hole in the wall. And then the after of the night room. Ooh. Now it's a weirder hole in the wall. <laughs> yeah, it is a little odd, but it's all removable. So like if we sold the house, nothing's like glued to the walls and yeah. And it fits the theme of the rest of the it bedroom does. because the rest of the bedroom is very castle. Gothic. There's tapestries and Fake fireplace and big Bible type and book holder thingy like you'd see in church, except just 
not a Bible on it because I can't find one the right size. Yeah, it's not one that big. <laughs> so there's lights and like candles and yeah, it's a fun room for me. Yeah. But you know, I'm odd. That's true. That's true. But it came out looking really good. Thank I you. liked it. Thank you. Yeah. It, the um, stained glass in the mm -hmm. back. It is um, at the moment plugged in through the, the attic. He's going to wire that to the light switch so I can turn it off and on. But it's been on since Sunday. But it's LED, so it's not like it costs us a million dollars. But it reminds me a little bit of Vegas every time I walk out. <laughs> I think I see It startles me. Like I walk in the room and there's light. And I'm like, whoa. <laughs> there's a man. And a man, yeah. There's a man standing in front of a light window. I'm more concerned about the man. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not finished. but And, and you, it's okay if you think I'm weird and you're like, what would you do? But... We had no purpose for that room, and I had a suit of armor, so why not? Again, very odd conversations <laughs> that most people don't have. No. Anyways. Okay, is it the Alyssa show? It's the Alyssa show. Why does just... mine sound so sad? Because you're not getting married this year. It's the Alyssa show. <laughs> he was. Our wedding is supposed to be September 27th. It's supposed to be. I had 100 days to plan it, which I'm not failing on. I, everything's pretty much done, just so you know. Yeah. But I mean, like, with the current state of affairs, it's like kind of going the wrong way, you know, for opening up, for wedding re receptions. Um, we're only going to have 60 people. <laughs> that's what she thinks. I, I don't think that's true. So far, we have 30, like, six RSVPs, not including Jacob's immediate family because they still haven't clicked on the link to RSVP. Like his mom. And his dad. Or his sister. <laughs> you mean the bridesmaid? Yes. <laughs> the maid of honor? Oh, that one too? Yes. Wow. Yeah. So, okay. like, so really we're at, like, 42. See, I think she's going to end up with more than 60. It doesn't really matter because we're not going to have it this year. <laughs> I've done everything. Um, I really only told you about the dress because, you know, that was like the most interesting, except that you don't get to see pictures for multiple reasons. Mainly we couldn't take pictures. <laughs> right. But like I have a picture of what the dress looks like, but I'm not going to show internet. it to you. But I'm not going to show it to you because yeah. surprise! You got to wait either 92 more days or... 365 plus 92. Right. <laughs> Depending. <laughs> um, uh, but what I did want to show you is the flowers I chose because they're the thing that I like the most so far. Because decoration stuff, I have dress? ideas. Well, no, besides oh. the dress. More than Jacob? <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm just joking. <laughs> um, the decoration stuff, I have ideas of what I want, but I like haven't actually put them together yet. So, like, I'm not as excited about them yet. Hang on, you might not want to look. No one. Yeah, that is like makeup Jacob. And is that like a marijuana grill? Oh no, he's no. mowing the back lawn. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Apparently the grass was really high. I'm like, is that a marijuana grill house? <laughs> no. I'll try to take a cute picture to put in our little, because I started doing that journal thing, that year-long yeah. composition. So that was the picture I'm going to use. And then he played with koi fish when we were on our vacation. Like, now you have to put yes, that in. I know, I'm putting it all up oh, there. Calm okay, down. Okay. I'm the editing master, okay? Oh, the, master. the koi fish, they swim right up to you. As soon as you walk anywhere near them, they're like, please feed us. It's a little bad. Mm. So did you feed them? Mm, no, the eggs benedict. Yeah, the eggs benedict. See, it looked pretty good, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look how nice it looks. Oh, but your dinner the night before looked even better. Yeah, that fish. Oh. Man, I wanted that. That she sent that numb, fish numb. picture the night, it was Saturday night. We hadn't eaten anything all day, and she's Still sending bad, that. I'm sorry. And I was like, oh, I want that. Those are flowers. Yeah, I was looking at the, these photos again. Like, do you want to see what I look like in a wedding dress? Like, in one of the ones we didn't choose? Well, you showed the number two, but I. Did we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, you already But saw. maybe okay. they want to see a few others. Now that you want to see others? Them, all them right. a few I'll others. put in some others. The pictures. Don't really do it justice this for what anything looks like. David's bridal, so yeah, we want pictures from that other place. Cause okay, we're not allowed to flowers. So this is gonna be my bridal bouquet. That is so pretty. Now, I think it's fun talking about um, everything that I'm doing, like to to for the with the vendors and, and like how things work, because the way things work now isn't how they worked when she got married. And I think that it's interesting to tell her what I'm doing, and she's like, "What? Like that's the way this works." So I figure you'll enjoy it as well. 
For the flowers, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of money on the flowers. So I didn't want somebody to actually come to the venue and set everything up and then have to stay and move the stuff from the ceremony to the reception. Plus you have and to feed them and then tip them. Right, all of that. So I was trying to avoid that. So what's pretty cool is that um, flower companies, what you can do is they have collections and you can customize like the stuff that they already have. Who found this for you? Mom found it. <laughs> and, um, they ship you the flowers, they overnight the flowers to you four days before your wedding, and then you assemble them yourself. So it's like partially DIY and partially professional. This is not a good idea. I think it's a great idea because one of my bridesmaids is like really good at floral arrangement. She took classes in college, so she's like a professional, <laughs> okay? I took some classes in college Plus, too, but I wouldn't. <laughs> they come with very yeah. good instructions, okay? And the flowers should be perfect. So, like, what could go wrong? Except that the wedding gets Did moved. Did you really just say what could go wrong? The wedding's already gonna get moved. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is all hypothetical. We're shutting down, like, California for three weeks. So, we're all like, well, there went that. But it's only three weeks, and if everybody okay. behaves... But there's only a total of, okay. like, seven weeks before the wedding. Okay, but all you need is, like, a day. Twelve. <laughs> I'm still hopeful. If everybody in California behaves for the next three weeks, you'll be fine. There's actually like 12 weeks before, so it's like, yeah. But no, anyway, let's not get killed away. Okay, anyways. So I'm kind of excited because I think it'll actually be kind of fun. I have um, like eight boutonnieres, three corsages, four bridesmaids bouquets, which are right here. They are also very beautiful. They're not like that much lesser than mine, which I think is pretty cool. But they don't have that one vloop. No, flower. no, they don't have the vloop and the purples and stuff. Um, but I she love had them. them. Okay, this is gonna sound like my Starbucks. Uh, no, like my Kindle issue. <laughs> she had them custom done because they have like packages, mm -hmm. and I loved one package that she did not love. And she didn't love any of the packages, so no. if you spend a certain amount, which it turned out she was going to spend anyway, you can just go and say, hey, will you help me design stuff? And they have people that will. Right. So that's how So I got happened. pieces from a bunch of different packages. So these, that's the way both of these bouquets were from the same package. And then I believe this corsage was from a different package. Oh, I don't know. It doesn't say. Um, and then... She might let me wear one of those. I thought I had a picture of the hair piece, but I think maybe I just sent it to Erica in the text message. Let me find my... Who's Erica? She's my florist person. Oh. She's yeah. the one who do personally does it. This, and then this is my hair piece. You so let me save, save that. that. Yeah. So that's from a totally different package. Um, and then I'm also getting a centerpiece. You sent that to me, I think. Did I? <laughs> good, I don't good know luck why finding it's that. not it's in my photos. photos. Yeah, I mean, it should be in my photos somewhere, but let's just go ahead and do a quick search, please. Hold was that in No, these are all that just ideas. That wasn't it That's not it? Nope, that's with the oh. dress. A. See, I think I showed it to you. I don't think I sent oh, it to you. I thought you sent it, but maybe not. I'll look for it, and then um, I'll post it to you so you guys can see it. Oh, I sent you that. Yeah. Okay, um, whatever. It's this beautiful centerpiece for the sweetheart table. And then I'm also getting white roses for the aisle, as well as peach roses. You mean petals? Petals, yes. Um, that would hold down the if aisle. If it was actual roses, if you were like barefoot. I also oh. got cake flowers. Even though we're not positive we're getting a full cake. Actually, we're pretty positive at this point we're using the full cake. So we're going to put the cake pack. We're going to do the cake flowers on there. Oh, I like cupcakes. And we're doing cake testing next week. So not me. I really like the flowers. That's what we've done so far. But you know the cake flavor options sounded amazing. Not like when I got married. When I got married it was like vanilla, vanilla and chocolate, vanilla, chocolate and strawberry. How many layers are you having? You might even get like butterscotch. Yeah, these are fancy. I can't even tell you one of them. So I'll tell you next week like Something if it's good. About or champagne. maybe the week after. I think it's probably gonna be, yeah, it'll not be next episode. It'll be the episode after, probably. Okay. Um, but we're gonna do the cake testing. And I've already done everything else. I've already done the photography. Um, the which, Belinda. The Belinda. Her I Belinda. named her the Belinda. She calls her the Belinda. She actually sent me a little gift uh, box, which I didn't 
I didn't know she was gonna send with this like super high quality and super cute mug and lip balm and bling wipes and then those um champagne gummy bears. I wonder always what that wanted to try those. I was gonna ask you what that yes. was. Yes, Sarah says they're really good too, but I've they're stupid them. expensive. So I've had them. They taste like so I said thank champagne. you. I told her thank you for the box, and that was really really cute and sweet. Um, I can't wait to meet the Belinda. She's really nice. And there's gonna great. be two. Two. There's going to be two, two Belinda's. <laughs> and then um, we talked about it before, but Dad's friend is going to do the videography. And then I picked the DJ, and that's a whole different experience, too, because everything's online. So they have, like, this online portal thing where you give them very specific details about when every cue is, what order you're doing things in, what music's going to be played at, which part of which event. It's very, very, very detailed. And then they have a separate part where you just put in all the songs that like you need played all the songs that you want played and then all the songs that you're like please don't play this at my wedding i liked the idea from the the viewer that said that she yeah had, had all the guests put in an idea like you know what song do you song like that they really like and so yeah. everybody kind of had a song i think that's a very good idea too because yeah, you have a small enough wedding that's easy enough i yeah. don't know that you could get 60 songs in no. but that's fine. yeah for sure um, so we're working we're on compiling. Can we yeah. do a mashup of, maybe mashups are wrong with. We're working on compiling montage. that list of all those songs and we're working with, we I get a little wedding coordinator that comes with the venue. A little, <laughs> a little like, one. Is she like two feet tall? No, their services are a little limited, like you can't access them all the time. And you can't but, talk to them. No. But the little. Oh, uh, we're going to work with them to figure out the timeline of all the events. And then the bar person has been um, booked, although he's just straight up told us, I'm going to book you, but like, don't pay me until it gets really close because who knows if you're even going to have your wedding, which I appreciate. <laughs> Optimistic. Yeah. Do you know what the song is yet? Nope. I told Jacob he needs to start writing down songs that he'd be okay dancing to as our song, and I would write down songs, and then we'd <laughs> see if there's dance. any matchup. Yeah, I know. And then hair and makeup I just booked. I didn't sign mm. the contract yet, but... I just booked it, like, we, you know, like, hey, don't take my date kind of situation. We're supposed to look at hotels, but I don't think he's going to want to do it this weekend again. So I don't know when you're ever going to find out about hotels. But yeah. there's a lot of hotels in the area, but they're kind of creepy, some of them. So we mm -hmm. need to actually go in and be like, hey, can we see your rooms? So all of my vendors have been taken care of. They need to take care of the hotels. And then with all of the vendors, I have already talked about what happens if we get pushed because I don't want to lose money. I have talked to many people who said that they had planned their wedding like last year for some time this year and it got canceled and they lost everything because it wasn't a thing it, then. It wasn't a thing then and you know, you didn't have protections for it. Even wedding insurance decided not to cover it. They put in a nice little clause after the fact saying, yeah, COVID doesn't really count as something that's insurable, which is ridiculous if you mm -hmm. ask me. But I don't like how you can't get flood insurance unless yeah. you pay an like, oh, earthquake insurance earthquake in California. Insurance. Yeah. It's so crazy expensive. Same thing. Funny. It's all scam. So, since we are planning in the midst of the pandemic, people are very willing to work with you. And I have gotten it in writing from every single vendor so far that they will either return all of our money if we get pushed or they will keep our money but not charge us anything extra to move to whatever day to we choose day. next. With the exception Whoosh. of the vendor, if the food, because the food comes with the, the venue, so with the exception of the venue, they might charge you a little bit extra if the food vendor's prices change, which, like, Whoosh. whatever. So really, the only thing I'm really at risk for is the flowers, because you have to pay for that a month out, and then they order the flowers, and so they said they try to work with you, but depending on when they got the flat, like, you paid for them, so I might just get a bunch of really cute flowers at the end of the year that I'm gonna have to buy again later. It's expensive. Yeah, I might just use fake flowers at the real wedding then. Can I have Jamocha ice cream and a banana royale at the wedding? No. Sorry. See how mean she is? No, I don't have a freezer. I can't bring food. I so. can. <laughs> I live close enough I can. So... Basically, all the stress stuff is mostly over, except for, you know, the not knowing if it's going to happen. But, you know, otherwise, it's really just figuring out the little decoration stuff, the logistics of who's getting where, when. I have to write my vows. Jacob has to write his vows. I still have to get my ring resized. I have to get wedding rings. 
if you come over Sunday, we can watch a wedding video. Okay. Like yeah. not ours, <laughs> but <Yeah>. mine. mine. <laughs> yeah. Mine. We, we also found an ultrasound. <gasps> oh, I'd like to see that. The video of when they had the ultrasound. <laughs> Which you recorded <laughs> on, like a... It's on the VHS. I don't know. It Did seems you have like to really stay awesome. still for like 30 minutes while it took the picture? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> that means I won't too. Like, you know, because it's like my ultrasound, so it's like. Can you like 24? Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm just saying, it's like double. Yeah. Okay, so that's it. I mean, you know, now that it's been two hours, I, I feel safe logging off. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for coming the yeah. first time. Thanks for watching all the way to the end or yeah. fast forwarding to see if we ended. And thanks for your great ideas yes. too. You've Keep had a lot of coming. good ideas Those about really good stuff, ideas. And I appreciate and that. Gold leaves. If you want to help, um, <laughs> this question <laughs> supposedly has go fund me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh -oh. I was saying oh, I, have a, I, have a dog. I was saying if you um wanted a very specific question to answer this week, um I have been asking uh random groups on Facebook uh what to do about um guest photos in that I wanted to do disposable cameras on all the guest tables and then get them developed after but it turns out disposable cameras got really expensive recently they used to be really cheap and then apparently they got trendy and now it's thirty dollars for two of them which is ridiculous I mean you can get them for a little bit cheaper elsewhere too but like it's still it's more than five dollars which is what I was hoping to spend so I've been um looking for ideas the thing is is I don't like hashtags and that's everyone's solution, and I understand, but it's too many steps. It involves learning the hashtag, taking pictures of the hashtag, writing down the hashtag, doing something so you have it, and then going on social media, and then putting your pictures on there, but then also, are you gonna put someone else's wedding onto your social media? Like, not as easily, and then you have to remember the hashtag, and then you have to use the hashtag. I don't like it. I'm young and cool and hip. The tweet's been deleted. <laughs> What was it? Now it's I don't even get to see what it chase. is. I don't know. There was no comment. It was just I'm a sorry. police chase thing. No, I wanted well, to see what anymore. it was. Um, but is that what it actually said? Did it, it say didn't there say was a anything. police chase? Oh, uh, well, okay, whatever. Um, so now I don't know what to do. I had some interesting ideas given to me from Facebook groups, but I don't want to sway your ideas with telling you those ideas. So tell me what your ideas are. Um, either if you have a good source for disposable cameras that are cheap or if you have a different idea for ways guests can take photos and get them to us that does not involve downloading apps or hashtags or something inconvenient because most of them are going to be older guests and they don't want to do that. Wow. They are just talking about me. I'm mostly not. You kind of are. Okay, that's it. I'm done talking. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.